Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back. We're just going to do a quick video here. Um, I'm looking at the NDX. We saw that it started to break out. Not very convincing, though not bad uh, towards the end of the day. Uh, I thought this was going to be it here. Uh, it did push a little higher. It came into this resistance. So, what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at a possibly bear flag. All right. So, you put these resistance areas up here. All right, right in here. We had that structure that is one, two, three down. Uh, we can also say this is a W, okay? And then this will end up being like a bear flag of some sort, building pressure for more downside, possibly. All right, we're not there yet. We need to see this break out, and it could do it tomorrow, or it starts to fail. Um, and we would know that if this support area starts to give way. So, uh, that's the analysis on the short-term time frame. Now, remember that a lot of this stuff is anecdotal. Uh, some clinicians said this, everybody, let's run out. And, of course, government, Wall Street, everybody and their mom wants uh, to hear what they want to hear. So, they're going to run with it, and they're going to react to it, and that's fine. Now, last night, I said I would stop out once it broke out uh, here, somewhere in here. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I'm not convinced yet. <laughs> I know sometimes you, you come up with a game plan and then you get punched in the face and you're like, eh, I'll wait. I'll wait. Uh, I'll wait till this starts to, you know, give me some other indication. Now, again, the compass for me for now is this, right? It's a big thrust down move. Then you get a bare flag building in here for more downside. If, on the other hand, it starts to break out, great, let it go. It'll come to previous highs, possibly a reversal here for more downside. Okay, it's just the way it broke out. It was, it looked tired. Um, I don't know. It just didn't look very um, thrusty to me. Okay. Now again, uh, when we look at it on a little bit bigger time frame, this starting to look like a possible head and shoulders, and that's a reversal pattern, and it's happening at a key area, right? Right at the key area here. Uh, so, you know, again, you look at the charts with a fresh, you know, fresh look and you try, you're trying to figure out, okay, is this legit stop out or is this not, or mm, I don't know. Uh, taking a look at the S&P 500, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't look all that great to me, you know. Uh, the message of the market is not, even if we do this, it still didn't break through. There's a lot of resistance in here for short time frame of course right there's a lot of resistance in it, a lot of supply that needs to be you know people are like oh shit if it goes back up there i'll fucking sell or something you know so they start selling and you find that pressure uh small caps okay does that look convincing to you not to me right um so this is starting to look a little bit of a bear flag let me go down to a smaller time frame uh a too small Right, so you see what I'm saying? See the compass? Here, this is the compass. Then you get this formation, okay? Building that pressure for more downside. It's not looking bullish to me. So the message of the market, at least in the US, um, looking at these three charts, is not very bullish. <coughs> Dow Jones, same thing. Okay, not very bullish. Didn't even fill the gap. Not very bullish looking. Uh, Europe, okay, not very bullish looking. Uh, CAC, not very bullish looking, all right. Uh, Germany, not very bullish looking. They had 6% inflation. For them, it's fucking like, wow, shit, oh. <laughs> they're, they're not used to inflation. <laughs> they definitely are not. And, you know, their rates, I think, are negative. So, anyway, uh, there's a lot of risk, unknowns. A lot of anecdotal bullshit being passed around social media. Buy the dippers are always going to come in, the suckers. Uh, and I don't see why Wall Street would not take advantage of that. All right, not selling for a day. Let them let let the suckers come in, buy it up, make it look like everything is okay, and then just fucking rip it down. And that's kind of the the message of the market right now. It didn't look like oh okay we're going back to normal. Off we go. It, w it would have been a lot more thrustier 
uh, in my view. And uh, so, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, commodities did come down. Uh, where is it? Real quick. 10-year, not very convincing, right? Uh, profitability of banks not looking all that great. Right? Actually looks bad. And where the fuck is commodities? Ah, there we go. All right. So commodities came down. We broke, went sideways. We can say there was a little wedge here. Okay. One, two, three down. Starting to break. So that doesn't look very good. Uh, there was a little bit of a pop in oil. Okay. A little pop and then failed. That's not very bullish. Okay. This is starting to look like a bear flag in the making. One, two, three. Something like this for more downside. Uh, nat gas, bear flag, okay, bear flag, uh, at least for now, that's what it looks like, and then most importantly, most importantly, um, let me arrange this properly, I hate when these lines move, okay, uh, this did not break down, this, this did not break out, Bitcoin did not break out, all right, Ethereum, uh, did not break out. Okay, so we had pressure building right down here, not looking very good. It was held up by the 6-3 day moving average. We have that support down here like we talked about. You got one more up, but you don't have a higher high. Actually, you have a higher low for now. It hasn't hooked yet, uh, but it didn't break out. Hmm, that's interesting. Again, looking at the overall market, I'm not convinced that this is, hey, we're going back to normal. All right, so that's the message of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, found some value. Um, dollar <coughs> popped a little bit today. Not a whole lot. Uh, I think it needs to go down again. And, you know, what happens, w why would the dollar rise? It would rise because of higher interest rates or because the economy is improving. If it starts to fall, it means the economy is not doing that well and rates are probably not going to rise. So, you know, if the dollar is going to start going down, everybody's going to start buying the yen for fear. Well, that's not that's not bullish, right? So, again, message of the market, not looking good. All right, take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.